European scanning forecast, and uh, with a, it, it, is, it has a true European focus. It, it uh, covers news from all over Europe. It, it uh, um, runs interviews with spokespeople of, of, uh, of uh, the, the, the international uh, We are telling everyone about events happening across Europe. There are lots of them, believe us. And uh, yeah, we just need to be your skeptics, right? <laughs> And uh, different segments to educate and uh, and provide some discourse across uh, different topics. And uh, this is this is us, the three of us. And in the, in the last few years of running the show, we are coming up to the hundredth episode uh, very soon. We are close to a hundred thousand downloads so far, and uh, we have listeners from more than fifty countries. Uh, with more than fifty interviews that we have conducted from people uh, uh, with people from more than twenty countries. And uh, a lot, a lot more of our plans. So watch out because you never know when they are approaching you for an interview. Uh, we have one here at the European Skeptics Congress. And uh, uh, this is what else we we, we, uh, we we are very proud of that. And that is an event calendar of the different European um, uh, events happening across Europe. And uh, we are very proud to to uh, to let you know that. We have been nominated twice for the very prestigious Hopkins Award. Uh, Woohoo! Best podcast category. So everyone is, uh, we have to thank people. everyone who, who gets the vote uh, for us to, to be nominated. Uh, or um, or <coughs> up into the, uh, the finalist list. And, uh, but I'd like to talk about in the last, yeah, two minutes or so, um, I'd like to talk about uh, something else, EXO, the European Ske uh, Council of Skeptical Organizations, that I've uh, already briefly uh, touched on. But uh, it really was in a dormant state until, until recently, uh, and it still is in a way. But uh, under Gabor, Gabor Rushko's watch, uh, who is the current chairman of uh, EXO, uh, there is there was a, a website redesign and relaunch, uh, which I, I think it was a very good step forward. Uh, and there was an event calendar, and we're very proud to let you know that uh, it's our event calendar that's available on the EXO website, uh, the, 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 the ESP's uh, uh, calendar. Uh, we have we have operated <coughs> a Facebook uh, group for uh, the representatives of different organizations uh, from across Europe. And uh, that gives us a very good for everyday platform for uh, conducting discussions and, and, and <coughs> uh, <coughs> letting others know about what we're doing. And uh, we are constantly recruiting new member organizations on our forum. Uh, and uh, this, is, this is a new website. And the question, what, what we are recruiting for, um, uh, raises another question. But where next? What, where should AXO as, as an, an international organization go? I'm going to give you my opinion. I'm nobody to tell you what AXO should do or has to do. But that is my opinion, what I'm going to share you <coughs> what I'm finishing with my topic. So first of all, we need an organization that's active. That is active on an everyday basis. We are doing something every day. We have to admit, and, and we cannot keep ourselves. Um, if we want to achieve that, we need to 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 step one, we make one step further and make it an organization with employees. With with uh, such a great, uh, a huge, massive international organization should not be run on a on purely a voluntary basis because it's impossible, as we have seen in the last decades. Uh, so that requires funding. We need to find uh, ways of funding it. Uh, we need to run on all events. We need to operate databases that we can work with that, that uh, include um, data of, of different tasks, test results uh, conducted by different member organizations. And with that database, we can easily get into, um, um, so we can easily use it, well, other organizations can easily use it um, without hesitation. And uh, we need to have a database of different experts. Um, a good example of which can be sense of science uh, that we'll uh, hear about very, very soon. Um, and uh, National Sense of Science and other organizations like uh, the Human Associati uh, Associations um, active in Europe, uh, we could uh, cooperate with these organizations to, to try and achieve something, truly. 
And uh, of course, we should be discussing policies as well uh, to, 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 to connect my whatever I'm saying to what I already said earlier about uh, trying to achieve something in a, a European level and the European Union's uh, level. And there are a lot of other things that we could, we could do, but we need to reform uh, the way EXO operates. And uh, I'm, I'm calling for a reform of that, uh, the, the details of which should be discussed uh, probably at the, the Sunday EXO board meeting. I'm really hoping for that to happen. And uh, I'd like to thank you for your attention. I, I'm afraid I went over my time with about two minutes.